Welcome to the Elevator World News Podcast. Just in at elevatorbooks.com is Magnetic Levitation from Springer Publishing. This book provides a comprehensive overview of magnetic levitation technologies from its fundamental principles through its state-of-the-art applications. Maglev technology is believed to be a diverse and green technology that will be applied not only in rail transportation, but also in other fields such as ropeless high-speed elevators. For more information and to order your copy, visit elevatorbooks.com by clicking on the link in the show notes. This is your daily industry news update for February 2nd, 2017. In today's news, the wire light curtains are installed on the London Tube's first inclined lift. Multiple residential towers are planned for South Melbourne, and CTBUH announces its 2017 conference. The first incline lift in the London Tube has been outfitted with Mimco Panachrome light curtains from Avire. The company also supplied LED dot matrix displays that provide passengers at Greenford Station information about the current position of the lift, which replaced an escalator. Four more incline lifts are planned at the Farringdon and Liverpool Street stations as part of the Crosswell project. London underground engineer John Sprague said the system meets requirements of the Equality Act, enhances efficiency, and helps keep passengers safe. The urban developer reports Salvo Property Group has acquired the land and permits to build 46, 43, 27, and 21-story residential towers at 60-82 Johnson Street in South Melbourne, Australia. Located in Fisherman's Bend, close to the Central Business District, the project is part of an urban renewal in Melbourne. There will be more than 1,300 apartments in the Rothaloman designed structures, which will boast views that include the Central Business District in Port Phillip Bay. Those involved in the project are optimistic, remarking on the city's surging population and describing the local high-rise apartment market as buoyant, and the towers as a flagship project. The Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat, or CTBUH, will be holding its 2017 conference in Sydney on October 30th to November 3rd. This year's topic is Connecting the City, People, Density, and Infrastructure. CTBUH notes Sydney has a 230-year history in urban development and finds itself at the nexus of much of the current debate about cities, density versus suburbanization, modernity versus historical preservation, infrastructure versus urban life, and the high-rise versus the low-rise realms. A call for paper abstracts and sponsors has been initiated. For more information, contact CTBUH via email at info at ctbuh2017.com or visit the website at ctbuh 2017 for more industry-related information, visit elevatorworld.com. And for information on how to reach the elevator and escalator market in India, visit elevatorworldindia.com.